Claw. Claw or scuff? This is quite possibly one of the most asked questions in the community of Fortnite console and controller players. In fact, I mean, you guys have been asking us to discuss this in the comments. Trust me, we read your comments. Yeah, even these ones. And now we're bringing you the tips and tricks you've been asking for. Hey, what's up guys? This is Keith Allen with Pro Guys bringing you another video. Now, everyone knows in order to be a top tier controller player, you must adhere to one of these two styles of playing. Some players choose to buy the scuff while the more independent and major population have adapted to the claw. Claw is a professional grip used by many advanced controller players and well-known content creators. Now, have you ever heard of Faye Sway? Well, he's a controller player who's amassed over 1 million subscribers. Yeah, I said it. He continues to amaze people with his insane talent when it comes to playing Fortnite with a controller. And guess how he plays? That's right, he plays Claw. Many players claim that the Claw grip isn't as good as the Scuff controller, but we're here to tell you that it's not true at all. Now, with practice and by listening to what we have to say in this video, you'll know exactly why Claw is superior when it comes to the battle of these two popular playing styles. One of the major problems with the Scuff controller is the fact that you must rely on paddles and specific controllers that will cost you mm, hundreds of dollars in the end. Claw, on the other hand, can be played on any controller, and even mobile. It's obvious, guys, that it's much more versatile and a better skill to have overall. So what makes players choose Claw over Scuff? Well, Claw is actually one of the most useful and tactical strategies used by professional controller players. This is because it allows controller players to be able to do multiple things. I mean, you can essentially press four buttons without having to lift a thumb off the right analog stick, which is vital for aiming. Since aiming is one of the core aspects of Fortnite, it's something that must always be improved on. Now, by switching to Claw, players are instantly advancing their aim by 200% because they're able to switch to build, take out their pickaxe, reload, and jump while aiming at the exact same time, making simultaneous aiming and other mechanics in the game possible for controller players. What's really cool about this playing method is that controller players can play more like PC players due to the fact that they have multiple buttons they can push simultaneously. Now, of course, this strategy takes time to get used to. So in this pro guide, we're gonna be showing you guys how easily it is to master and transition from playing with the standard grip to the claw grip. Many times, players will complain about claw being too hard on their hands. What this means is that using the claw grip hurts their fingers or wrists. But the truth is, is the claw doesn't have any bad effect on your hands unless done incorrectly. Now, of course, there'll be a slight discomfort for all players who are starting out on claw, but this is completely normal. It's just like when you buy a new pair of shoes or a brand new controller it will take time to get used to it, right? So sit back, relax, and absorb all the information in this video, okay? Because we're gonna teach you everything you need to know about making the switch as easily and painlessly as possible. The first step is to get used to having your pointer finger rest on the A, B, X, Y buttons on your controller. These buttons are located on the mid right section of the interior of your controller. We recommend that you guys play claw with the Builder Pro button layout. However, it is completely possible to play claw without any layout and Know that Claw itself will improve gameplay no matter what. But if you use Claw with Builder Pro, you'll be doing the best possible method for improving at controller Fortnite. Now, keep in mind, you always want to angle your controller slightly towards the pointer finger used to play Claw. Positioning your hand this way will allow you to do 90s and switch from build mode to combat mode very fast and efficiently. Think of Razor X, for example. He's known for his smooth gameplay and for good reasons. It's almost like he's always turning his right analog stick. And this would not be possible if he didn't play Claw. Now, hop into a game and play it normally, but this time, keep your pointer finger around the general area. Just make sure you're still using your thumb to click those buttons like normal. Now, after playing a couple games like that, go ahead and hop into a creative lobby and start using your pointer finger to click those buttons. Why do this? Wow. Well, by practicing just keeping your finger there, you're actually getting used to the physical feeling, basically breaking in the claw. This will allow for the fastest way to get rid of the discomfort. As for the other fingers, use your middle finger to press the right bumper and trigger. Then use your ring and pinky finger to hold the controller from the back of the right side. The left side of your controller grip doesn't change when it comes to switching over the claw. Now that you're in your own lobby, go ahead and start using the pointer finger to click those four buttons while attempting to aim. <laughs> Notice that we said attempt. 
This is because your brain is so focused on learning the muscle memory for clicking the buttons with your pointer finger that you're not gonna be as focused on aiming itself. Now, in order to improve your muscle memory as soon as possible and get used to the new grip, we recommend bringing a friend into the creative lobby with you in order to 1v1 you and help you get used to the new grip. Okay, remember guys, repetition is your number one friend when it comes to mastering claw. So 1v1 as much as you can, even if you're getting dominated. Don't forget, once you've mastered the claw, you're gonna be much better than ever before. And as for your friend, well, they're probably not gonna be beating you anymore. Now, some key points to remember while you're adapting. For one, make sure that you don't switch back to the old grip at any point. This will only confuse your brain to make it harder for you to learn claw. Remember, this is a muscle memory, okay, that must be downloaded in your brain. To put this in perspective, it's like learning how to play on an Xbox and PS4 controller at the same time. Even if you haven't tried it, I'm pretty sure that just the thought of it is enough to allow you to understand the difficulty of doing this. Secondly, you always want to focus your aiming more than anything. Your building and muscle memory will come back in time, but being able to aim well, well, it's a skill that you must keep improving and bettering as time goes by. So guys, make sure you're making it your number one priority. Now, you're gonna see a drop in accuracy at the start, but trust us, soon you're gonna be eliminating bots in arena like a pro. Headshot after headshot. Using creative aim, editing, and building courses, well, that's gonna be able to improve your mechanics much faster than hopping into lobbies. This is because you're constantly working on one skill at a time rather than having to wait to go from one lobby or one fight to another. Plus, you're only gonna be focusing on one skill per course. So we recommend using three different courses separately over the course of a week without any breaks in between days. This is gonna allow full mastery of claw within just the first few days and extra practice will help you improve your speed and accuracy. Thirdly, we suggest you use a controller that is already broken in. Using a controller that's brand new for claw can make it much more uncomfortable ooh, and can cause problems along the way. This is obviously because the buttons are much stiffer. This will make it so you have to push very hard to use the controller and putting lots of pressure on bad techniques is the last thing you wanna do when you start first learning claw. This is the main reason that many players complain of pain. A lot of times, players will buy new controllers when they're starting out to play claw. They think this will allow them to have a better fresh start, but this is not the case. We recommend learning claw for the first week using the old controller as the buttons are softer and more broken in, and then switching to the brand new one once you fully master claw. Switching to Claw without a doubt is one of the best decisions many people have made during the Fortnite career. It's turned your average Joe into some of the most well-known and competitively advanced players in the Fortnite community. You will not find a single player playing in the World Cup Finals playing on controller without either Scuff or the Claw. This is no coincidence. Once again, to summarize, Claw gives you that sweet ability to multitask all at once. Doing things like aiming, building, pickaxing, reloading, and jumping all at once. Claw is the trick that makes some controller players look like PC players. Who needs a ton of keys on a keyboard when they have Claw? Now that you guys have learned how to play Claw, go out there and start practicing. Know that you are fully knowledgeable of the pro secrets and tips for learning the best method of playing Fortnite.